so welcome to this video lecture so this is the continuation of the previous class in this video I am going to solve this problem so this is also a type 1 problem so because the denominator contains distinct linear factors product of distinct linear factors right let us start the solution for this one let 3x minus 1 by x minus 1 into 2x plus 3 equals to so clearly these two are distinct linear factors product so that's why I am writing a by x minus 1 plus b by 2x plus 3 call this as equation 1 ok so this implies 2x minus 1 by x minus 1 into 2x plus 3 equals to so what is the LCM of these two denominators clearly left side denominator x minus 1 into 2x plus 3 so this denominator by first denominator x minus 1 x minus 1 get cancelled remaining 2x plus 3 into a a into 2x plus 3 plus this by this x 2x plus 3 2x plus 3 get cancelled remaining x minus 1 into b b into x minus 1 clearly both side denominators are same we can cancel the both denominators just write down the remaining value here so 2x minus 1 equal to a into 2x plus 3 plus b into x minus 1 call this as 2 now we have to solve equation 2 for a and b ok so the best method is suitable substitution method for type 1 problems so put 2x plus 3 equals 0 first bracket equals 0 or just send this 3 this side 2x is equal to minus 3 or so x is what is x minus 3 by 2 I am sending this to this side if you can substitute any one of the from these 3 these 3 are same so where we have to put these values into so 2 into what is x value minus 2 by 3 or we can write directly 2x also 2x is minus 3 minus 1 equal to a into 2x plus 3 is 0 clearly plus b into x x is minus 3 by 2 minus 1 so here 2 to get cancelled so remaining value is minus 3 minus 1 equal to a into 0 0 plus b into minus 3 by 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 equal to b into just put um, denominator 1 2 comma 1 LCM 2 2 by 2 1 1 into numerator minus minus 3 this minus as it is 2 by 1 2 2 into 1 2 or minus 3 into 1 minus 3 2 into 1 2 by both denominator product so minus 4 equal to b into minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 by 2 ok right now send this to this side 2 into 4 8 equal to minus 5 into b minus 5b both side minus will get cancelled so send this b this side 8 by 5 is equal to b so this is a b value so for a value to get a value next substitute another suitable value what is another suitable value here x minus 1 equal 0 I am putting here put x minus 1 equal 0 or x is equal to 1 in equation 2 so I am substituting here x is equal to 1 2 into 1 minus 1 equal to a into 2 into 1 plus 3 plus b into x minus 1 is 0 2 into 1 2 minus 1 equal to a into 2 into 1 2 plus 3 b into 0 0 so 2 minus 1 1 is equal to a into 2 plus 3 5 so send this 5 this side 1 by 5 is equal to a so now we have a and b values then substitute what we have to do after getting a and b values we have to substitute a b, a, b values in equation 1 substitute capital A comma capital B values in 1 so we get the 
required partial fraction. 2x minus 1 by x minus 1 into 2x plus 3. So here I am substituting in equation 1. In place of a, we have to write 1 by 5. In place of b, we have to write 8 by 5. Equal to 1 by 5 divided by x minus 1 plus 8 by 5 divided by 2x plus 3. So let us solve one more problem also here. So that is problem number 6. We will resolve this one. Resolve 1 by x into x plus 1 into partial fraction. Clearly this is also type 1 problem because first one is linear factor, second one also linear. First degree polynomial, first degree polynomial. x itself also polynomial. So clearly x is different from x plus 1. So clearly this fraction, this proper fraction contains, denominator contains product of distinct linear polynomials. Right? Solution. Let 1 by x into x plus 1 is equal to a by first one that is x plus b by second one x plus 1. Call this as equation 1. Okay, right. So 1 by x into x plus 1 equals to what is LCM of these two denominators? Left side denominator. X into x plus 1. This by this x, x cancel remaining function to a. a into x plus 1 plus b into x. Both denominators cancel out. So 1 equal to a into x plus 1 plus b into x. So call this as equation 2. So now substitute the suitable values. So first suitable value is first bracket. Put x plus 1 equals 0 or x is equal to minus 1 into. So by sending this plus 1 this said, we get x is equal to minus 1. These two are same. So there is no x left side. No need to write a x values here. Just write on directly the constant. a into x plus 1 is 0 plus b into x is minus 1. 1 equal to 0 minus b. b into minus 1 minus b. 1 equal to minus b. Minus 1 equal to b. Just I am multiplying both sides with minus. Next, uh, substitute next bracket. Next value is x. Put x is equal to 0 in 2. In equation 2, I am writing x equal to 0. So 1 is equal to a into 0 plus 1 plus b, b into 0. 1 equal to a into 0 plus 1, 1 plus b into 0, 0. 1 equal to a into 1, a. Now we have a. Now we have a and b values. So, substitute capital A comma capital B values in equation 1. So we get the required partial fraction of given complex fraction. That is 1 by x into x plus 1. Is equal to what is the value 1 by x plus b is minus 1 by x plus 1. So, in this way, you have to divide the type 1 problems. We have some more different and difficult problems in type 1. We will see those also. So, let us solve this problem also here. So, 1 by x into x minus 3. So this is also type 1 because denominator contains product of distinct linear polynomials. Solution. So let 1 by x into x minus 3 equal to a by x plus b by x minus 3. Call this as equation 1. So 1 by x into x minus 3 equal to so a into this plus b into so b into x by product of these two so clearly both denominators cancel out 1 equal to a into x minus 3 plus b into x call this as 2 now substitute suitable value put x minus 3 equal 0 or x is equal to 3 in equation 2 so 1 is equals to a into 
x minus 3 is 0 plus b into x is 3. So 1 is equal to 0 plus 3b. 1 equal to 3b. So 1 by 3 equal to b. Next substitute another suitable value. Per second bracket equal to x is equal to 0. Next put x is equal to 0 in equation 2. So we get 1 equal to a into 0 minus 3 plus b into 0. So 1 equal to a into 0 minus 3 minus 3 plus second 1 0. 1 equal to minus 3. So minus 1 by 3 equal to a. So a is minus 1 by 3, b is 1 by 3. Therefore, substitute capital A comma capital B values in 1. So we get 1 by x into x minus 3 equal to a value is minus 1 by 3 by x plus b value is 1 by 3 by x minus 3. So if you have any doubt on this answer, just take cross multiplication, uh, find out the LCM for this one, we get automatically this, right? So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe my channel and share among your friends who need this uh, math subject to love the mathematics. Thank you for watching. Thank you.